everybody! Today I am going to be unboxing Owl Crate's December box. This month's theme is epic, so it's going to have stuff from The Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, Game of Thrones, and The Chronicles of Narnia. So I'm really excited. For those of you who don't know, Owl Crate is a monthly subscription box where you get little bookish related goodies that relate to whatever the theme is for that month, as well as a hardcover new release YA book. So this is my second ever Owl Crate box that I'm unboxing. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to cancel it after this one because I just can't really afford it anymore. Okay, that's gonna fall off the edge, so I'm just gonna hold it on my lap. First thing that you get right on the top is this little card, which on the back it says like all the stuff that's in it, so I'm not gonna look at that because I don't want to be spoiled. But as you can see, there's like Aslan and Harry Potter characters and Game of Thrones. Okay, so the first thing I see right off the bat is this little Harry Potter a vinyl figure like blind box kind of thing so I'm going to open this I have seen these all the time when I go to like Target and stuff and I always want to pick one up but those are all the characters that you can get I really hope I get one of the animals like either Hedwig or I'd like to get Dobby as well okay I hope I can get into this without scissors because I didn't bring any who's it gonna be who's it gonna be oh my gosh I got Voldemort himself Oh my goodness gracious. He's actually kind of cute in this form. <laughs> so we'll put him there for now next to Sherlock. Then I see this pin which is of like an owl mask and it has like a little mouse in it. I'm going to consult the card because I don't know what this is from. So it actually says nothing about the pin on the card. I have no idea what this is from. At first because it's kind of like a bird mask, I thought it was kind of like the ones that they wore in the Return of the King, like Frodo and Sam when they're trying to hide from all the orcs. But then there's like a little mouse in it, so I don't know if that's supposed to be like the Chronicles of Narnia and that's like Reap a Cheap. Or it could be a Game of Thrones thing that I don't get because I don't watch it. <laughs> Next in here is a Lord of the Rings pin. So it says Lord of the Rings and it has an eye on it. That's what it looks like. This is super cute. I wish I had like a bag or like a backpack to put this on. But for now I'll just have to like collect it until I get one. The next thing I see is Game of Thrones set of four coasters. So that's pretty cool. As I said, I don't watch Game of Thrones. So I don't know what any of the stuff means. But I'll open it to show you guys anyway. Okay, they do not make this easy to get into and I did not bring scissors so I'm gonna use the pin. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sakes, just let me into the thing. Okay, so. Ooh, these are really nice. So you get these set of four coasters and they each say like fire and blood, winter is coming, hear me roar, and ours is the fury. I imagine this is kind of like I don't know if there's some kind of like royal houses or something in Game of Thrones. As I said, I don't watch it, so I probably sound really stupid right now. <laughs> Next, I see this sticker, I believe it is, and it says, I'd rather die on an adventure than live standing still. And this is from V.E. Schwab's A Darker Shade of Magic, which I've never read before, but I really like this quote. I'd rather die on an adventure than live standing still. Then I see like a little note card that has the um, a scene from the Chronicles of Narnia when she sees the lamppost. And on the back is the wardrobe, and it's blank on the inside, so you could write whatever in this. I actually kind of like to use these like blank note cards in my journal, because I like to journal. So then it's kind of like this cute little like interactive sort of thing in my journal where I write on the inside and then paste it in so you can like open it. So the book is A Fire and Stars and I've never actually heard of this before but it is a fantasy book that follows this princess who is kind of like in an arranged marriage to marriage this other prince but then she actually ends up falling in love with his sister. It sounds quite interesting and I know diversity in books has been like a really really big topic on booktube nowadays so I've definitely been seeing a lot more books with diverse characters. It also came with this little bookmark. On one side it's A Fire and Stars and on the other side it says Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth and then also it came with this little like note card from the author. And at the bottom of the box you get a little card that says what next month's theme is going to be and the theme for January's box is Classic Remix. And then this is what it looks like on the back and there's Alice in Wonderland there which makes me really sad that I have to cancel my order because 
I love Alice in Wonderland. But this card is like really beautiful. I love all the pictures on here. This is another thing that I like to put in my journal. I like to put these things in. So just to recap everything that you get in the box, you get a hardcover new release book, four coasters, a note card, a sticker, a pin, Another pin, the little Harry Potter character, which is really cute. So overall, I thought this month's box was pretty cool, and I really wish I could get next month's box, but I will definitely be watching everybody else unbox it, because I'm really looking forward to see what's in that one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!